Hello there, beautiful internet and you amazing creatures of the beyond. So we have this chunky boy over here. And I've been playing around uh, with some things in Inkscape. Now, I know I haven't been doing so many videos on Inkscape, but the reason is that I have been doing some personal projects. And I also have been learning a bit about Blender. Actually, it's quite interesting. You can import SVG files into Blender, and you can imagine you can do some interesting things from 2D uh, vectors into 3D. So I, I'm still experimenting in there. There's a lot of learning. Uh, Blender is its own different animal, and uh, or the short keys are different, and sometimes I'm confusing them with Inkscape. And I find myself doing uh, combinations of both software uh, key bindings from one software to another. And eh, it's a bit confusing, but I'm still stumbling through there. It's quite interesting. I'm, uh, I found some interesting experiments that I've been doing. Also, there's uh, cool things you can do with 3D and animations and things. Quite advanced stuff, but I'm not going to jump into it. It's going to be for way later. But until then, it's fun to explore. But uh, today I was just doing some stuff and I found something really, really cool. Maybe it's not something wow, but it is still pretty cool. So, so this chunky boy, we can do some cool things with him. For example, we can go into path and trace bitmap. No, well, nothing too crazy about this. But if we go into multicolor and then here we select color, we can kind of reproduce our chunky boy. And we see it's not the same uh, color ratio. And this is because we are only sampling or scanning eight colors out of the image. The more colors we give it, the more accurate it becomes. Obviously, we're still seeing things. Now, everything is transformed into, into vector design. So, if I want to give it 120 weight, for example, it's going to take a little while, but we're going to get a far more accurate design here. And if I'm going to click apply, it's going to create it, but it's going to take a while. But what if we go lower? We do something really retro like this. So four, we're just sampling four colors out of everything. Now, when it's sampling, it kind of tries to get an approximation. So it looks at this green, it sees that it's darker than this green. So it's going to approximate it to this color, to black. So it's it's going to retain the shape, but it's going to look at the image and try to compress every color into four distinct RGB colors. So it's going to be this uh, whitish orange, then this normal orange, darker orange, and black. So we have four of them. Probably this is going to be a bit grayish, but whatever. So if I'm going to click apply, ta -da! the image is not deleted, it's still there. If we're going to go to layers, we see we have our image here, and then we have this group. So if we move this group right here, we can hide the image for now. We have this interesting beautiful chunky boy panda. Now, obviously, there's still gonna be some issues, like these gaps. You can tune and play with this, but to be honest, it's not really worth it, because we are going to look at it from a distance, and to really avoid all of the issues, we could actually do something like, let me enable snapping, this and I'll put it all the way to the back. If 
I zoom in now, everything is quite covered. I can even select a color like so, or maybe this one. Ah, this one looks good. So we can include this into our background. And let's actually do a duplicate. We're gonna make this one black. Well, not blackish. Let's do something like this towards more orange. I'll put it underneath and let's use, let's be sneaky. Let's use, ah, what shall I use from here? Mm, eeny, meeny, eeny, meeny, eeny, meeny. Let's go an offset. And let's go offset maybe a two or a four, maybe even a six. And we can apply this offset by pressing Control plus. It's just how it works. Don't ask me how and why. It's the magic. The magic is real. What can I say? So, 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 what can we do here? I could group everything now. And let's put an angle onto it. Well, actually, before let's do a duplicate as a backup. Let me rename it backup. In case we need to recover it. I mean, we're not gonna mess anything up. We can still return to the original. But. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go like 45 degrees, like so. I think it looks okay. And now, since we're working with, uh, let's call this Chunky Boy. Bot. Lol. Bot. Uh, and now let's do something cool here. We have this group, yeah? So this is the first color. But what if we want to push some of this to the right? So maybe that's too much. Two. Let's go four with this one. One, two, three, four. Now let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. What about this? And we can make this a really cool aspect. Now, clearly, this is gonna displace a bit. So, one way to fix that would be to use this rectangle. Now, important to know that when you're pressing Control Plus and applying a path effect, it's gonna transform it into a path. This is still an object. So, if I'm gonna Duplicate this. Let's make it into our mask. Then set clip. And we shouldn't have anything outside of this border. But if we look on it, it looks really cool. But there is a cool advantage to this. Now, let me move this away. I can play with colors here. So let's say I'm going to take a G. I'm going to make a gradient here. And let's go full opacity, obviously. 
Let's go a bit orangish. Yeah, dark orange. Now let's go with this a bit reddish. Well, let's go dark. As you can see, we're doing some pretty amazing things here. And it's all done vectorial. Because if I click on these things, just notice everything is a vector. Obviously, a lot of vectors. Now, a little, a little tip for you guys. Try to use images that are under a thousand uh, pixels. Because otherwise, like how much is this image? Let's see. This one is a thousand by six hundred. The point is, oops. Uh, the point is that if you have a lower uh, ratio volume of pixels, it's gonna condense how many lines it's gonna try to make the parts. So if it's a pretty big image, like let's say a four thousand by uh, whatever the place with 3000 and something then it's gonna try to add even more curves and vertexes and so on so it's it's gonna be a nightmare to i mean if the computer can do it you can do it but generally speaking i think the design of the the form of the chunky boy is pretty complex so we have enough curves to retain the shape and everything so you don't need a super high resolution image. So the fewer pixels there are on the screen, the less uh, curves and vertices you'll have. And then it's gonna look a bit better. Of course, you can even simplify the shape or make it even more complex. That's up to you. But I think we've gotten a pretty decent thing here. So let's... Uh, let me move this to the back. Oh. Apparently, it's not a good idea to move it to the back. What the hell? I thought... Huh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, I've done this rectangle with the color, but unfortunately, I put it underneath and I didn't realize how much it changes things. And I kind of like it better. Like he looks more grumpy. This one looks too detailed. And it also kind of, yeah. So uh, the background is following this darker shape. So I'm gonna disable this. And I'm gonna do a duplicate of this frame. I'm gonna put it all the way to the back. And let's give it a bit of a blur. Maybe even expand it a bit. And let's move it a bit like so. Maybe, well, we can go with normal, but no, let's leave it like this, a least. Ah, 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 maybe a bit more like this. Well, I could just technically edit it with the node. With the Bezier. Not the Bezier, what's the node tool, no? Yeah, node tool. I keep confusing the names now because I've played so much with Blender. And... Yeah, I think this looks decent enough as a picture on a wall in somebody's house. <laughs> I mean, let's try to put a wall. Obviously, we still have to... Uh, so, control alt And let's put this all the way to the back. Full opacity. Let's give it a bit of a whitish kind of feeling. A 
let's make it darker towards the end. And maybe a bit more saturation. And hmm. or maybe the saturated a bit more. I don't know, whatever. Whatever doesn't matter. I think it looks really decent. Uh, so wait. This oh I, I put the shadow in the wrong place. <laughs> because I was looking at this other shadow, so then we would have to move this shadow. Yeah, if you click on uh, if you click on in the layer and try to move it, you have to click back on the link. So if this would be the floor, it would go this way. So the shadow will be somewhere there. But still, pretty decent, I suppose. It looks really cool. And it's adorable. It's our chunky boy. We shall name him a Vagabond. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Wait, I want to try something. Does it work though? Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one. Oh, why isn't it working? Oh, that's kind of sad. I guess... Stroke to power... Oh, sorry, no, not this one. I'm, I'm being silly. Uh, this one. <laughs> Although we have to do it with uh, con with control shift, how the hell do you move all of them? Well, I suppose you can't move everything. Yeah, and I think we should add it to this one as well. But we need it to add it to the mask. Apparently we do not. Because we can... Because since we made it a, a rectangle, it still retains that uh, attribute to around the corners. That looks super awesome. I love it. I love it a lot. Maybe I could have done a bit of a... What's it called? Thickness here to simulate kind of the frame, having a bit of depth. And it's not difficult to do. Actually, let's just do it. Why talk about it when we can do it? Fortunately, I need to select it. Which is it? This one. So we're gonna do a control D. Come on, move. No, no, no. Oh, I need to click here. So we put it all the way to the back. What did I do? Oh, it's not that one. <laughs> it's this one. Okay, this one. So select this one. Put it a bit more back. Now put it all the way to the bottom. And, well, for this one... Hmm. Maybe 
maybe move it, oops, move it a bit higher, like so. And here we can just use some trickery. kind of make it look like the corner is combining. And that's it. Easy peasy. Of course, we can add more stuff like highlights and glowing things and so on but uh, it's enough for now i think it looks pretty decent pretty pretty decent love it hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment of mine <laughs> and you guys like uh, the chunky boy and do your own chunky boys they're awesome they're fun okay guys stay awesome i'll catch you next time bye 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 bye